Chantay Gang, it's your girl Shantae back with another video. Before we start, I'm gonna go ahead and put it out there that if you are not a part of the Pom Pom Gang, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and join. Hit that subscribe, hit the bell notification. I need you to be up on this so you can see all our wonderful videos and all the trouble that we get into. And today, I am rocking a crochet wig. <laughs> And I am absolutely in love with it so much. It came out great. This was my first time making a crochet wig. So, of course, I had to give y'all the details on how I achieved this look. It is very curly, very lightweight, though. And the cap that I use is very breathable. So, and it's off my neck. So, I don't have to worry about, like, this heat wave that we're about to experience in the hottest month of the year. So, this is, like, the perfect summer style, protective style, um, for right now my hair is twisted underneath my cap but honey I am in love with this look so I use the curlette expression the medium curls it comes in like a small ringlet the medium curl and then the large like roller set looking curl I went with the medium and I went with the long because I knew I wanted it to be kind of lengthy a little bit at least to my shoulders while the short ones probably would have stopped right at my neck but I have tried these before doing just regular crochet I've never actually tried them on a wig so her Instagram handler's name is crown K she was the my beautiful lady that gave me the inspiration to try out this crochet wig she made it look so easy she threw that bad boy on clipped it to her face and you know to fit her frame so to start off with um, making the wig I went out and I purchased a weaving crochet weaving cap um, I purchased a foam mannequin head because like I said this is my first time ever trying to make a wig so I needed a mannequin head to work with and I used three and a half pack it says on the box that it comes with 20 strands and I use the color 950 which is black with nice hints of red in it nothing too overwhelming because I did want to be able to wear this at work and I can't go too crazy with the colors at work I saw a lot of videos where people had the wig head holder and I don't have one of those kind of improvised I took one of my little makeup cases that holds like my lipsticks and little small miscellaneous things and I legit take that bad boy right on top of there so that was what held my mannequin head while I crocheted and put the weaving cap and stuff um, on there I, I really didn't know what to expect or how to do it so I was just crocheting it and doing my two little knot ties then I ended up going to one single knot tie and then I ended up doing a single knot and then actually tying the crochet to the weaving cap so that it wouldn't come out because as I started working and going further in I realized that some of the pieces were coming loose There was, there was a lot of videos that I watched where people were taking the actual curls and pulling them apart to make even smaller sections. I did not do that. Like, I was completely lazy and I was like, look, I just want this hair on here. And then I knew, cause since I've used this hair before, that it was going to fluff up and, you know, get nice and big and frizzy once I started separating the pieces anyway. So I was just like, yeah, I'm not going to separate the pieces before I even put them on the wig. I had to make sure that I spaced out my curls a lot to make sure that they didn't sit on top of each other because then it would just look like a big a big bush of curls just sitting on top of my head. So there are a lot of like gaps and spaces, but once I started separating that hair, it fluffed out so well and the curls just like legit popped and you couldn't even see the weaving cap, barely see the white mannequin underneath the wig, of course, unless you part it. But the curls were fluffed up enough that I didn't even have to separate the actual curls before putting them on the weaving cap. I put, I crocheted the hair on and then separated the curls after they were tied onto the weaving cap. Now when I separate the curls, each section I only separate once. I didn't do like a multiple like small little sections. I legit just pull it apart, move to the next one, pull it apart, move to the next one. I did go back and add maybe four or five pieces to like my bang area just to make sure that area was really full and maybe to the top because I realized I did kind of want a side part versus 
just a big fro. I did want to kind of look like an illusion of a part on one side of my head. That's where the fourth packet came in because actually doing the mannequin head, I only used three packs. Once I put the cap on myself to gauge where the curls were going to lie, I added just maybe four or five pieces from that fourth pack. I purchased my crochet hair at my local beauty supply store once again and it was $5.99 for the pack. Um, I'll try to put a link down like to Amazon or something to, uh, for anyone who has a hard time trying to find the curls. I also made the mistake of cutting the bangs while the hair was still on the mannequin and so when I go to try on the wig the bangs were like super super short. So I also had to add hair to the bay area there because I cut the bangs way too short. But like I said first time I was going to make the mistakes and yeah I was like totally stupid to even think that the mannequin head was going to be the same size as my head because my head is huge. So I ended up having to add like three or four more pieces to try to bring my bangs back um, But I ended up having a nice layer and I just trimmed off what I didn't need I shaped around the sides in the back to give it a more tapered look I'm pretty sure I'm gonna cut it every time I put it on because this hair like every time you put it on it lays differently and, and I know that because like I, I've used this hair before as actual crochets to my hair but I did it on a short tapered look and, and I remember every morning getting up clipping here clipping there fluffing there and with this I'm taking it on and off and so the curls are very bouncy so I mean a lot they have they have a lot of movement so just by doing that small gesture I already had to go in and readjust some curls so I already know that this is going to be a style that I will be constantly adjusting if I continue to wear it for the rest of the week. That probably takes about 10-15 minutes out of my day if that. So that is it for this gorgeous crochet wig. Let me know in the comments what y'all think and what looks or hair I should try next because I'm always open for ideas. Wigs are definitely going to be my thing this year. So if you have a favorite wig, let me know in the comments so I can try to check that out as well. And we are all about natural hair, protective styling, and beauty and lifestyle. Like what more can you want in life? So just go ahead and join. Join the gang. Join the team. Come on. On, subscribe hit that bell let me know what you think and we'll see you on our next video